Voters will decide next year who will represent Texas in the Senate, and it remains unclear which Democrats will jump into the race and challenge Republican Senator Ted Cruz. KXAN's Will Dupree waded into the names floated as potential candidates. Three, two, one. The only person running the race for Texas Senate is Ted Cruz. There's not anything more important. A year out from the primary, some conservatives are confident issues like border security and inflation will help Cruz get a third term. Certainly the environment in the 2024 uh, election is likely going to be more favorable for Senator Cruz's re-election than was the election in 2018. However, the well-known incumbent came within two percentage points of losing back in 2018. And right now, voters are not too happy with the job he's doing in D.C. Out of these six Republican leaders, a poll conducted last month by the Texas Politics Project showed Cruz with the highest disapproval rating at 46 percent. Ultimately, what this means is that his numbers may look a little bit skewed in the negative direction, but amongst the voters that Cruz is most focused on, Republican voters, his approval ratings remain as high as anybody's, save for the governor. Cruz's unpopularity may create an opening for a Democrat, but no one is jumping in yet. Reporting from the Dallas Morning News revealed a possible run for Congressman Cullen Allred. He could be a very strong candidate, and the fact that he is in Congress already means he has access to federal money federal PACs and such that could uh, buy in his race. Democratic analyst Ed Espinoza says it's possible. A lot of people were impacted. The mayor of Texas's largest city, Sylvester Turner, might run since he is leaving office this year because of term limits. He also mentioned the Castro brothers, Julian and Joaquin, as potential candidates too. They are also mentioned every time a statewide race comes up, and it's not always what they choose to do. So will this time be different? We shall see. None of these men would share any comment about their futures, but one thing is for certain. Go, 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 go. Cruz won't be running alone for long. Will Dupree, KXAN News. Fundraising will play a major factor next year. The last time Cruz appeared on the ballot, the contest became the most expensive Senate race that year. The candidates spent nearly $126 million. This is all according to the campaign money tracking website, OpenSecrets.com. And as you heard, Ted Cruz's last Senate race came very close. Looking a little deeper into that 2018 race, Cruz had a strong showing across most of rural Texas, while Beto O'Rourke narrowed the margin by winning urban counties, including Hayes, Travis, and even Williamson counties, which historically vote Republican. 